Welcome back to Pyro Falcons Let's Play Extravaganza, where it's your Let's Play 2. Today's game is Vulture, and we are flattered and happy that Cubic Timeline Productions, the developer of Vulture, is in the chat. And obviously you can see the chat in the bottom right corner, so when they start chatting about the game, you will see it. So Vulture is a shmup, or a sh- oh, uh, disclaimer, I got the game for free through the developer. Uh, or through their PR department, so we'll get that out of the way immediately. This um, is such a good beat. Can I say, like, I like this song? You like the song? I think yes. the soundtrack... Ah, shoot. Yeah, uh, this is one of those games that when I defocus the window, it <laughs> mutes, so apologies for the sudden silence. I believe the soundtrack is available, and I am trying to find that information now. Dot, dot, dot. Go to the store page. It is not. to root through the files. That's yeah, okay. <clears throat> um, yeah, says KJ Friend says, why are you in the archive? Join us every Sunday at 4 p.m. Eastern. Thank you, KJ Friend. Um, every Sunday, 4 p.m. Eastern, right here on YouTube. I don't stream on Twitch. I mean, yeah, Twitch or anything like that. So, uh, but yes, you should totally join us here on the show. So we are going to get started with Vulture. Now, I don't, I haven't touched the game. Uh, this is, I'm playing it completely blind. Blind. Yep. Uh, um, Cubic Timeline Production says they do not have a soundtrack available. Ooh, voice acting for the Akamura. <laughs> Greetings and salutations, new person. I'm Shauna, but you can call me Captain Shauna. Hi, Captain Shauna. I do a Shana. little bit of everything around here, so I'll try to give you advice and I will try to give you advice and or annoy you whenever I deem it necessary. Would you like me to show you how things work around here? Sure. Oops. Accidentally said no. All right, we're flying blind. Okay. Bye. Welcome to the war, Private. I am your commanding officer, Lieutenant Colonel Bruce. This is the Army's four drones facility. From this base, we can strike back at our enemies who, as you know, are currently occupying large areas of our planet. That's why you're here. Your file says you can pilot drones better than anyone else in the force. Oh, that's true. The Tango Sector Coalition, TSC forces, are using advanced drone equipment and drones, which they've assembled from ancient alien ruins discovered by their archaeologists. It's going to take superior skill and tactics to beat them. <laughs> well, he's out of luck on this one. Now you should take this chance to meet with the other base personnel. Talk to me again when you're ready and I'll give you the mission brief. Carry on. Thanks, Leslie. All right, so... The the gimmick of this one is, even though it's a shmop, I don't even know why I said even though, it is a shmop, um, but, oh, I see what's going on. The D-pad doesn't work. Hey, hey, I haven't seen you around before. You must be new. My bad. I'm Candace, and this is my drone parts shop. I don't have a lot to sell right now, but if you bring me a new part, I can make as many copies of it as you like. You can use the parts to rebuild and upgrade your drone at the garage. I sell parts for a fair price, and I'll even buy back the ones you don't want. That is basically the gimmick of the thing, which is awesome. So we have all this stuff, and it makes things, and that's how we upgrade our computer. I don't know what any of the stuff is good for at the moment, since I skipped the tutorial like a dumb butt. But anyway, um, let's see. I can just buy stuff. I own two already. All right, let's see if I can mess yeah, around on. Let's good see. Too. That song, that's from Paint the Town Red. Cute blonde mechanic character. Always nice to have, indeed. Alright, so... Can I just... Alright, I'm gonna use the mouse instead of... There we go. That was probably easier. Hi, Brian. I'm, it's nice to meet you, too. I'm chief mechanic on base. I have your drone modified any way you want, as long as you bring me the parts. I love getting my hands on new tech and figuring out how it works. If you're lucky, I'll explain it to you. This is our little ship. Oh, cool, I get to customize the color. The soundtrack is so good. So... Oh, and then it shows which... Wait, what? Boy, really should have looked at the tutorial, me. All right. We just is there a way to get back to it? I don't know. I'm just gonna jump into a mission and we'll see what happens. Oh yeah, see, I already customized it. I slapped one block right on the side there. Yay! I'm sure everything will be fine. Listen up, Private. This up, is your Leslie? first mission briefing. Our, yeah, Leslie could be either way. I think that's a mustache, so we're good with my voice. Our scouts have reported enemy activity in the Alpha Sector. They also have reported unusual readings in their long-range scans of enemy shield and enemy, uh, system activity. Squadrons of TSC drones are patrolling the area. 
being controlled by a large command drone of a type we've never seen. Uh, we- Cubic Timeline Productions offers uh, answers to any questions you have. That's awesome. Um, yes, <laughs> and if you do think of anything to ask as well, shout it out. I'll, I'll start the conversation by asking the question I, that always mostly fascinates me with game development. How long did this one take you to, to develop? Because that always... Because, like... It always fascinates me because you have games that can take over a year. You have games like Majora's Mask that only took six months, but because they already had an engine to work with. Like, you you know, AAA games can take a short amount of time. Indie games can take a long amount of time. It all depends on tools and talent and time and everything. Because, you know, a lot of indie devs also have to have jobs. So these are labors of love and can take a lot longer. Anyway, your mission is to destroy that command drone. Good luck, Private Fallout. Okay. Of a sector base, sparsely populated with long, straight highways connecting distant urban areas with only a few farmsteads and almost no military presence. The sector was recently reinforced with automated turrets to provide defense. The TSC have taken control of these turrets. Okay. It took him about a year and a half. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Is it a... Are you a... Whoa... Oh man, I am so slow. Yep, I think what Pyro oh my god, I need... is, are you a, uh, woo? What did I hit? You hit the blast leftovers. Um, wow. I think what Pyro's asking Whoa. is, are you a single person team or do you have a team with you? Yes, thank you. The one problem I have with shmups is bits, that I the bits. always have to fully 100% concentrate man, on what I'm doing. Man, this is chaos. I love it. I am moving so slow. I need to put more engines on my plane drone. Ryu says it looks a bit like Advance Wars. Um, it does. Cubic Timeline Productions did say it was inspired by a game. Let me see if I can... Uh, oh, here we go. Heavily inspired by the old DOS game Raptor, if anyone remembers that game. I think a piece of my wing just fell off. I am terrible at this game. I was going to say, shmups are not among my... Uh, better games Woo! that I'm good at. And I'm also very slow. And yeah, look at that. My plane's like shattering as it gets hit. I mean, I just Max smashed says, into a Max this is bag. a bullet hell in disguise. I think it's a shoot 'em up Yep, it's a shmup. Mixed up. with a uh, bullet hell. Ooh, I think um, it's capturing my mouse cursor. Cubic Timeline Production says, we have a team, but none of us can make a full time of it until the end of the project, which is also one of the... Uh, pitfalls of indie development is like getting everybody's schedule together. What are you? Alright. I don't know what I'm grabbing here. These are whole pieces. I need engines is what I need. Cause it looks like defense. My maneuverability is garbage. Oh, that KJ is defense. Friend, KJ Friend says, uh, play more asteroids. It might help. So, <laughs> CPU power, power, weight maneuvering, total blocks. Okay. I'm seeing what's going on here. Then that returns it back. Okay, cool. All right. Let's see if we can get ourselves some uh, some engines or something. Oh, and I've got money. Okay, so this is a kind of roguish, roguelike-ish, grindy kind of yep. thing. And I, I like that. <laughs> Basic wing detailed fin, large wing detailed fin, nose cone. Let's buy some wings. Seriously, such a good soundtrack. It is. It's very relaxing. Major kudos to everybody who worked on it. Like, whoa. System decor. There's another uh, shmup I was playing from the PSN that had this kind of upgrade system where it was like... Plasma repeater. Uh, It's just a basic gun. Plasma overcharge. Um... Let's see. So let's buy two more guns. But anyway... Um, Cubic uh, Timeline Production says wings affect uh, control tightness. Ah. Let's see. Oh, Oh, that's how to change parts. Okay. Oh, I see. And it's sort of giving me a hint what I should be building and where. Because I was not doing that. Alright, so... We need to... uh, Rotate... All right, I see how this goes. So I basically wasted my cash when I... Let's see, does it flip on its own? Oh, that's the button to flip. Haha, I get it. Given that I didn't touch the tutorial... Engines are speed. So oh. 
you really do want to tack on another engine to get up there and shoot everything. Given that I uh, didn't touch the tutorial, like it's it's nice to see how um, what's the word I'm looking for, like how how easy it is it to figure out together. what you're playing. Yeah. Yes, uh, that that's is not quite what I wanted a really to good uh, words. Design. Yes. Yes, that. Curse you, Aphasia! So, scramblet engine. <laughs> I do. Okay, so I don't own any engines. We need more engines. Um, but yeah, I, I, I forget what the shmup is that I'm playing um, on the PS4. But there is a shmup where it's like you start off with a crap plane, and then you grind up money in stages where you can upgrade your vehicle and such and such. Ryu and I was, really like it. Ryu was asking, does it matter that to the top left wing part was rotated instead of flipped? Oh crap, it was. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I can grab it. So, oh yeah, you can see the uh, difference there. Oh, that's copy. So... Again, without... Uh, switch to wings and see if you can pull it up that way. Ooh, good idea. Without touching the tutorial, I'm sort of... I can't believe I did that. Usually the tutorial is the first place I go. There we go. I got it. Uh, boop. And boop. No, oh, you had that for a second. Did I? It's not that one. There we go. Haha! -ha! Got it. There we go. Yeah. Uh, save. Uh, Cubic Timeline Production says that is aesthetic. Oh, okay. So it just. That's wrong. awesome. So we can just make something that looks aerodynamically wrong, and everything will be fine. Nice. So what if I do that, and then can I save a color? I can save a color. Awesome. Because purple is my favorite color. There we go. So we flip that. Boop. And boop. See, this is the kind of stuff I would I can easily get myself lost in. Just the whole uh, uh flip. Yep, flip it again. There we go. Just all of the customizing and designing. Yep, Cubic Timeline Production says we didn't want to limit creativity too much. Middle mouse paints. Ah. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Alright. Save. I have my little purple ship. I'm good to go. Let's try that mission again. So, I... Oh, shit. Why is it missing the wing? Yeah, I know. That's what I was looking at. Did I right-click it or something? Let's try putting it back. Oh, it didn't save my color. Does it have a dropper? Doesn't look like it. Alright. Let's see if that got it. Yeah, my wing's missing. That's weird. Mm. Is there a stat that I'm not looking at and I don't have a... Uh... See, I'm looking at your stats on the side. Yeah, everything seems like I've got plenty of... KJ stuff. Friend says put everything upside down on the next chip. <laughs> Will do. Oh, we have the report. Okay, so that is a bug. Uh... Okay, that's fair enough. So it is technically there? That's a good question. Get you can shot. get extra Jones by collecting the green power-ups dropped by enemies. Okay. Oh yeah, there it is. It appeared on the uh, on my preview there, on my loadout. Yep. Uh, Cubic Timeline Production says it's a display issue we were. Gotcha. We just were made aware of this morning. It's there. Okay. And I just had a crash. I'm oh, not boy. sure what I did, but I just had a crash. Whoa! There nope. There it goes. All right. Yeah, already it feels a little bit more responsive. All right. That's cool. It That's really so is. cool. I just blew up. Like, the thing that had a bunch of parts. Ah, woo! Yes. Uh, like I said, uh, just for anyone watching this, especially in the future, I am not good at shmups. Um... There, there's only been two shmups that I've ever really been good at. All right, grab that. Yay! Yay! Um, both of them were old Super Nintendo games. 
both of them that Ooh. I've done for the channel. Do I have a life counter? Oh, there it is, top left corner. Jeez, I just freaking rammed you. Yes, I need some better something, because I am not doing the damage I need Green right bit. now. Green bit, and it was magnetically Red attractive. Bit. Red bit. Yeah, I'm, I'm not doing the damage I need to do right now. Yes, we need more guns. Yes, the solution to everything is always more guns. It's a bit noisy of a game, but I don't mind that. It's, it's It feels yes. very old school Nintendo kind of delay. And what game did he say this was inspired by? I uh, forget the name. Raptor, I believe. Okay. Uh, uh, Mark is here, and so is Chibi Girl. Ah! Um, hello, Mark. Hello, Chibi Girl. I forgot to say hi to everyone in the chat before we got started. Yep. Uh, we have Ryu, uh, KJ Friend. I think Lord Arius was here earlier, but I could be wrong. Yes, he was here. He had dishes to do or something. Ah. I keep forgetting that, especially in games like this, and especially starting out like... The point is not to necessarily Ooh. to kill absolutely everything. You know? Oh, what is that? That is a mini boss that is going to trash me if I'm not careful. Oh, y'all can fuck right the hell off. Yup. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, I'm so weak. I can't do anything right now. Woo. I'm so weak. I'm just a tiny little drone. I'm so bitsy. I'm so Betsy. I need to gather parts. Oh god. At least I'm making some progress. My main guns are not exploding on me. I like that your ship can fall apart. It gives it a little bit of a, uh, you know, battle damage is cool. Yes. Battle damage is always cool. Ryu says, mission number one, survive. <laughs> exactly. Um, the one shmup for the PSN is like that as well, like, you just sort of have to... You, you kind of have to grind out the first few bits when you're just starting out because you don't have the power or the tools to really get anything accomplished. Oh, Jesus. That's not good. I had nowhere to go on that one. I love that weapon. My little plasma yeah. spinner thing. And I like that, like, battle damage works both ways. Like, I'm tearing off guns when I do that. Yes, it kind of makes so me it... think of uh, that old uh, Brick Breaker game. I remember on the Game Boy it was called Alleyway. Ooh, I got like, him. He just, he just started smashing. Yay! Mission complete! I did the thing! A C-, C minus, but uh, I did the thing. Hey, we got stuff. A little bit of stuff. Tech housing. <laughs> Return a hanger. Hooray! I like how the return a hanger is a little button just... Hey, what's Boop. that? Oh, cool. Scavenge... Oh, sorry. Oh, no, that is Brian. All right, yes, scavenge Brian. from the tangos, eh? Well, have a look and figure out how to use it on your drone. You can rebuild your drone to customize and make everything fit. Cool, but what I really want is more engines. So, that's under system? Yes. So, let's see if we can buy... A new part? Great, now I can copy it. If you need more... Oh, that fine. Oh, sorry. Oh. Just kind of blitzing through this. So, I have all these guns. Mark is disappointed in you, and he's taking away your allowance. What? Why? He only did C-. minus. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I did. Fitting blocks attach equipment blocks to hull blocks. The system block gives capacitor, but takes away power and CPU. I see. So... Oh, but now I can buy engines. Oh, yes, thank you. I'm going to slap so many engines on this. Because I like speed. I Just like in fighting games, I'm all about speed over anything else. Alright, so... Let's slap some... Alright, so do I have to put... Can I just attach this anywhere? I cannot attach it anywhere. I probably need hull parts. Okay. So... If I do boop. Mark says if you get an A, you get a puppy. Aw, I want a puppy. Alright, so clearly I have to attach... What are you? Power core. I wonder if I have to do that. Let's see. Lord Ariado says all the bass. Yes, that is a very awesome tune. 
Let's see if this works. Again, for those of you watching in the future, don't be like me. Actually play the tutorial so you know what you're doing. Yes. Because clearly I done goofed here. Uh, we have someone new. Grim6667. Ships remind me of Particle Fleet. Hello, uh, Grim6667. Thank you for joining the stream. Uh, the puppy is just a picture of Mark with the uh, Snapchat dog filter. <laughs> That's uh, fine. I'll Cuban take Timeline that. Cuban Production says you need to place systems on top of whole blocks. Okay, so we need more whole blocks. So the te so it seems all the the holes seem to be uh, just decorative. They look like they're just decorative. Like it doesn't matter which one we pick. I like the tech panel beat. That one's my favorite. Let's buy ten of them. We can certainly afford ten of them. And then we'll have plenty to work with for our for our uh, thing here. So boop, boop. And then oh, so I have to put it so I have to put it on the whole piece, so like do that and then it'll work. Let's see. Yay! Not enough CPU available. That's okay, because we have We have Ryu says soothing with. music plus calm stream. I may just fall asleep before this is over. There we go. We must wake the dragon. <laughs> Dang, this is really uh like this is um this is very uh like uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like now that I know how this works, it's very easy to figure out. So now I just need to slap some weapons down somewhere. Uh, so... Cubic Timeline Productions, I don't know if you caught that, but the whole blocks are just decorative. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm not looking at the chat at the moment, thank you. I definitely need your assistance on this. Alright, so equipment, slap on a couple more guns. Cool, okay. I'm getting it. I understand what it, what's going on here. <laughs> Ryu says, but, but I'm a sleepy dragon. Nap dragon! I need to, uh... Keep in mind what color I'm using. Like, it seems that it doesn't save your custom colors between sessions. That'd be one thing that I would like to see different. Oops. Boop. Boop. Yeah! Yay! That's aerodynamically good. Yes. All right. Let's do the same mission, just kind of as a field test. That way I know... How it compares, I'm you know. Watch shit explode. Exactly. Good work, Private. Destroying the Tango Sector Coalition command drone has completely disrupted their operations in the area. Here's what we know. Intelligence suggests the TSC has responded to our attack by increasing their presence in Bravo Sector with more drones and another command drone. They plan to occupy the area to stop us from being able to send supplies. We need to root them out and push them back into the sea. Expect heavy resistance and new threats. Keep your wits about you on this one. Okay, but I'm going to do the first mission anyway because I want to see, again, kind of the field test of my new plane. Lizerg says, shoot all them mofos. Exactly. Uh, Cubic, um, I didn't see before, did he mention whether he it was a one-man team? Or... Um, he has a team, but um, they're, all, they're all busy with other stuff, so they couldn't come together until the end. That's cool. So let's see how... Oh yeah, that's a lot faster for maneuverability. And now I have four guns, so... Whoa! Jesus. I don't know what that was! Nice! Yeah, oh yeah, uh -huh. this is a lot better. Oh yeah. I think I just collected a piece of his wing, too. Yeah! Yup, this is a lot. See, and that's what I'm saying, like... I don't mind losing in games as long as I've, uh, as long as I'm getting something out of it, and this is, seems like that, you know. Ow! Just lost my nose. But like, ow! Whoa! Just lost my everything. <laughs> Jesus. Um. Whoa. But yeah, like, I I I like the concept of some roguelikes and roguelites as long as you get something out of your losses. Because, yes. and, and it's fine if you don't like games like that. Uh, you know, uh, I, I, I understand the desire for having a challenge. 
but I play games to relax. I like having easy games or easy-ish games. So I don't mind roguelikes as long as I have some carryover. Yep, there we go. Uh, Patrick says it's a team of three people with the company and three contractors for art and music. Very cool. I, I also like how simplistic this is. Um, like, given that it's a shmup, um, I like that the story's pretty quiet because it's unnecessary. <laughs> like, a lot of games are a little too in love with their own backstories and they forget yeah. gameplay, but this one's this gameplay nice. first and I enjoy it. So, whoa, baby. I don't know what shooting the uh, turrets is doing for me. I'm not getting parts out of it, but maybe it'll help my score. And then Mark will give me my allowance back. Ah! Red piece. Hit the... Ah! Where is my... Oh, he broke my uh, super god. I was, no! like, trying to activate my spinny god, but he broke it. What a jerk. Um... I need to show you that other shop. I think you would like it, too. I think it's multi too. Yeah! Fuck your shipyard! Exactly. Whoa, whoa! Ah! It's okay, you still have three guns. I do. Do you want to take a turn at this, by the way? I kind of do. Because... I know this is awkward that I'm not looking at the chat. I am just enthralled with this game. Ooh, blue bet. Come here, blue bit. Picked up Vulture Decal A Block. Uh, Mark made a reference to Rogue Legacy. Yes, Rogue Legacy is one of the few I like because it has that carryover. Um, uh. Oh, Jesus. I don't know why he disappeared on me, unless he was flying under the cloud or something. I don't know. Anyway. Maybe? Um, but yes, Rogue Legacy is one of the ones I do like for that reason. Um, did I just get hit? He's not paying attention. Um, because it has a carryover when you do things. And this one is the same way. Like, it doesn't look like I'm penalized for... Whoa! Yeah! Holy crap. It doesn't look like I'm penalized no matter how many times I die or how many times I do a mission. Still C-. minus. That's okay. Here, nice I will hand it. you the controller. It's A is all you have to worry about, and the stick. Um... So... Did you want to do any customizing, or you want to just yeah, go? Yeah, I think we'll be good. Uh, what's the special one? Oh, uh, B. Red. B. Yep. The time your shots are out, you can destroy more enemies. Okay. Cool. Do you want to try the desert? Eh, yeah, let's start with the first one. Start with the first one? Okay. Now you guys are going to see how bad I am at games. Eh. All right. Um, catching back up on the chat. Kitsunis fear nothing. What? Wow, no I am trying to catch up to the chat, and it's just nonsense, in a good way. Where's that game? Oh, yeah, that's Rogue Legacy. Yes, okay, Pyro likes easy games, which is why Evo is his favorite Monster Rancher. Yes, that's not entirely inaccurate. Um, yeah, there, there's a weird delay between when you hit the stick and when you actually make your turn. But it's not so bad as long as you know it's there and you anticipate it. Blue bit. Ooh, got rammed. You did. Pyro, you know I'm full of nonsense. You are, chibi girl. And we love you all the more for it. Okay, let's see here. Y'all can see how I usually play bullet hells and shoot him up. <laughs> yeah, I was, uh, when we were offered the game, I was a little nervous to do it in the sense that, like... Yeah! Fuck you! <laughs> it's not our usual type of thing. Woo. Oh, that wasn't smart. I was thinking, oh, something. Yeah, I thought that was a pickup myself. <laughs> Ooh, careful. That was wow. a pickup. Digital connector A block. How many um blocks are there in the game, Cubic? Like overall? Are we talking hundreds? No, I lost my wing and I re rehashed it. Did you? Oh! oh damn! <laughs> Fish and mailed. You aft, but you still got four pieces. Yes, nice. So Let's that's return good. to hanger and try again. Uh, press no, 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 A, no, my doing... cursor disappears. Oh. Um, try again. Same thing? Yes. Let's put the laptop screen down. Were you reading on your laptop while playing? 
a shmup. Yes. That, uh... It's kind of in the way. <laughs> there are about 200 blocks. So, loads of customization in this one. And we turn the screen. Oh, crap. Yeah, I forgot you were looking at that at an angle. That couldn't have helped you. Nope, not responding. There we go. Yeah, I saw that. Like, there's a weird long load, and Windows 10 is reporting to me that it stops responding, but then it works. Ooh, so. Okay. You are getting into the... Before the show started, the Akamura did a bunch of swearing because she said she didn't want to swear on the show. And now that she's got the controller in her hand, I don't think she's said a sentence without swearing at the moment. Well, yeah, I have to kill the enemies. Kill the enemies! Yep, now we back off. Oh, man. That's so awesome that, like, it's all um, cosmetic as far as placement goes. Like, you can really make your ship look cool. Come get some smooches. Or just ridiculous. Smooches. Because I like building in games. I love customizing. Like, one of my um, my favorite mech Ooh, game yeah. is Armored Core because of how much customization you could do with it. And I don't like mech games, but I like the customization element. And with this one, I like the gameplay and the customization element. So I will definitely be playing Bolter more when we are done with the show. Yeah, this seems like a really good game for you to play while you're uh, waiting on stuff to load. You know, it is, because it's it's low. Damn. Ah! It's, it, it doesn't take <laughs> up. So, those may those of you may not know this, but uh, the Akamara can be evil. And she is being a little evil right now. Whoa! Ooh, that was close. So, but yes, this game is not graphic intensive. It is not CPU intensive. So, you can easily play this while waiting for something to download. And the five-minute missions are great for small chunks. This would be... Get it, this, get it, get it, get it! Not, not, to, not to try to uh, give you too much of a uh, of a goal here, Patrick, but uh, this would be a phenomenal game on the DS. Like, this oh, God, game. Yeah. Because you would be able to have... You'd be able to, like, build your stuff on the touch screen. But you could keep the action in the top screen. Like, it would work perfect. Yeah! This is definitely a mobile feeling game. Oh, uh, let's see. Did I miss the after party oh. game discussions? Uh, yeah, we'll talk about the after party when we reach the end of the mainstream. Jeez, I just got lasered in half. Now's the time to use your delay since you're around all that stuff. Yeah, there you go. Burn! Burn all of you! <laughs> And you picked it up really quick, too. Like, you're already doing a lot better. Yeah. Like, once you get used to the... Like, most shmups, especially the old school ones, there's more, there's less of an input lag between your movement and your ship. But it takes you, like, two seconds to get used to it in this one. Yep, patterns are easy to follow. Exactly. Come here, come here. Exactly. Where are you? There you are. Uh, I will not be able to do board game online for the after party tonight. In fact, if we're going to do an after party tonight, it'll be one specific thing. I'll talk about it, though, once we're done with the stream. I'm not sure how we could make a chocobo-shaped drone, at least not with any detail to still. Oh, I'm sure we could find a way. Oh, I see what you gotta do. You gotta kind of pass in there. Yup. He's got a pattern, too, so if you can shoot where he's going to be, you'll be all right. Yep, trying to. Yep. I love that you can chip away at the enemy. Like, he's now a lot less powerful than he was. There you yeah! go. Well, that was unnecessary. <laughs> That's kicking a man while he's down. Fuck you! Hooray! Do you want to try the desert stage now? Uh, sure. We... Um, I do want to adjust the ship, though. Get oh. Some guns um, on it. Give you the mouse. Okay. That's the nice thing about having wireless gear. Oh, we have an empty hangar. Um, but yeah, uh, but yeah, like if you guys can ever, uh, you know, I don't know what your scope is and your, um, your, uh, uh, the word begins with a P and I'm drawing a total blank. Oh, no CPU system detected. So we need. Uh, well, first you need a hull piece. You need several hull pieces. I need a CPU. No, I know, but you have to put one on this on the hole. Uh, okay, so we got 
Yes. The blue. There you go. And then you also need a red. So I would say make your make your overall design and then start slapping on whatever pieces you need to slap on to make it work. If that makes sense. Yeah, there you go. Hello, Kalo and Ayla. Unnecessary violence is the up? best kind of violence. Thank you, Ryu. What? How do I pick something up? Right click. That, yep. That wasn't what I wanted. There is some strategy to how you design your ship, because if you put, like, all your best pieces in the fore part of your ship, then all that's going to do is explode them immediately when you take a hit. So if you have plenty of hull between the front and the back of your ship, then you've got enough okay, room to maneuver. Do I place these on the hull? Uh, you need a... go to your system. You need that thing that looks like a hull. Yeah. You need to put that first, and then you can put a gun in that. Yeah, there you go. Uh, s equipment is your guns. Oh, there we go. I didn't realize what you were doing. Yep. There you go. What's this? Yeah, it's a very, uh... Very easy, um... Oh, that's your spinny. That's your spinning attack. You'll have to... Yeah. I need a hole for that, too. Yes. And if you need to buy anything, feel free. Not enough CPU, so I need another blue? Yes, somewhere. Yep, see, the system's easy to do once, you know, once we actually know what we're doing. Which, again, I'm sure that was and covered the power, in the tutorial. That's red? Red is power? Yes. Red is power. You have a ton of power on that ship. I think I overbought stuff. Oh, I need more. Because, like, we have a ton of power, but not a whole lot of stuff that uses it. But, you know, and I love that you can just keep adding stuff to it. Like, you know, you can make this ship super wide or just long or whatever you want. It's very cool. Ryu says, I wonder how effective a line of turrets would be. Basically meant to cut straight through a ship in a single volley of shots. That's an excellent idea. We could make an alternate ship with that. With yes. three loadouts, yeah. you can experiment. Let's save this guy for now. Go. Yeah, it's it's their Let's Play 2. We should totally do yeah. one just for uh, experimentation. Let's see here. We need... We've got 217,000 cash. We got plenty of money to do whatever we want right now. Man, I love that. Like, I always appreciate games that let you do the cool stuff right off the bat instead of having to uh, fight through hours of nonsense to get there. Like, one of the egregious ones of that from the AAA recently is Metal Gear Solid 5. I love Metal Gear Solid 5, but when you first boot it up, it takes you like two to two and a half hours to get through the tutorial and the 5,000 cutscenes and the other nonsense before you start doing the cool stuff. Whereas this game, it's not like that at all. You just jump right into the awesomeness. I love that. KJ Friend points out that having a line of turrets would require a lot of shit, making you easy to hit. But you would have a lot of power. So there's yes. an inherent balance to it. So let's, uh... It'd be... Slap on some more holes. <laughs> you are to holes fun. as uh, Ryu is to nukes. Oh my god, what are you doing? Something horrifying. I can see that. Oh, you put your engines in the middle of your ship? That's interesting. Oh my god. Not enough CPU. Wow. That thing is going to be extremely hard to maneuver. Oh, yeah. Most likely. <laughs> yeah, it kind of does that. It doesn't do a perfect flip sometimes. Yeah, it's okay. There you go. 
Uh, Kalo says, if you love customization so much, wait till you get the copy of Gundam Breaker 3 that I'm sending you. Yes, okay. I will enjoy the crap let's, out of that game. Uh, let's see. Oh, you can, what sort wait, of... before you leave, go back to edit, you can name it, and I would love to know what you're going to name it. Uh... You see it on the far right, under the color scheme? There, up, oh, yep, right there. What would you like to name it? <laughs> the Akamura has put on her thinking What's face. What's the name of Captain Nemo's ships in uh, 20,000 Leagues? Uh, I don't know and you have my mouse. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, Google. What is the name of Captain Nemo's ship in 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea? Because if I remember, he uses that thing to cut other ships in half. Uh, Captain Nemo... Let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't know. I can't find it. Like, there's just too much information. Oh, the Nautilus. Is That's that, it. That, that what you want? All right. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. I right, put one phantom. That's. There we go. All right, Yay. hit save drone. Okay. All right. I've never read that book or seen the movie because it was a movie too, right? Uh, it was in the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Okay, let's do this one again just to see. Wait, I ac think I accidentally went in with yours. Shit. That's fine. You can bail, I assume. Come on, yeah, buddy. Wakey, wakey. Don't Eggs click anything. It's gonna make things worse. Shit. Just have patience. Dot, dot, dot. There we go. Yep. Uh, so, whoa, what was that? I don't know. Hit start? I just did. One of those is going to be continue and exit. Try the bottom one. Okay, try the top one. Oh, okay, that did work. That was your oh, okay. self-destruct. Yep, here we go. There, yep. And then, there you go. That's nice. Train wreck time. <laughs> All right. Uh, Patrick, do you have like a favorite design? Like how? I, actually, this is, a, this is a question I want to ask devs in general. How much do you play your own game? Like, uh, oh, it's on a uh, 1280 by 720 window. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's scary. Oh my god. Holy crap! It even sounds like you're just firing a freaking- Whoa! Whoa. Okay, those gotta go. It Ooh, sounds like- lasers. That's meant to cut me off, isn't it? You're firing an artillery gun. Wow, and you can lose half your ship and still have a lot of firepower. You are loving this game, aren't you? You're gonna have bit. to, uh. A little bit. You have to download this too and we can do Steam Share. Ooh. Ryu says, all the cannons! Nukes! Ooh, purple. God, it is terrifying hearing you do a volley. Oh my god! What even was that? <laughs> it looks like a cookie, but whatever it is, it's just gone. It just, it's just gone. It's just gone. Ooh, green. <laughs> <laughs> um. Gotcha. Yeah, I, I'm always curious about how often uh, devs play their own game, because it's one of those things where, like, I would figure as a creator you would get... I, don't, uh, I wouldn't say... The only say, problem with this game, is, or with this uh, method, is it's not going to sleep. Yeah. Um, like, not to sound all hipstery and uppity or whatever, but I'm a writer, but I don't read my own book, and, you know, I create YouTube videos, but I don't watch my own stuff, because, like, I've been there, I've done it, so, 
I always wonder how much a, a developer would play their own game in general. <laughs> I figure something like this uh, would be more fun to just play with. But like, once you when you develop it, you know all the secrets. So, you know. how am I still alive? It's your hull. You had so many hull pieces. Ooh, he threaded the needle on that one. You are having so much fun. I hear it in your voice, I see it in your face. By the way, for those, anyone watching this, as always, there's a link to the game in the video description if you want to buy it on Steam. Look it how much fun this is! Currently $10. I have become the bullet hell! <laughs> Come the fuck at me, boss man! Your shit is fucked! So, as I was saying, I think the Akamura has found a new favorite game we've done for the streams. That nice. took me 10 seconds. <laughs> and God, you got an A. a fucking A. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, you are fired up. I am your God now! Uh, Patrick says wait till you get better weapons and shields. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh, let's slap more shit on this baby. Kalo says he's wondering if we can spell pyro with the cannon so they know who shot them with every shot. That's an excellent idea, and Grim says oh. it needs more guns. I mean, you still have another column you can work with right there. Another two. If I expand up. Yes. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> <sighs> All right. All right. Let's get some more. Max says you have officially become corrupt with power. Uh uh. There ain't no such goddamn shit as power corruption. I. Hello, Kaylin. Thank you for joining the stream. The Akamura is losing her mind here. I need more of these. <laughs> more power. And more of these. What's a reinforced fitting do? Fitting blocks attach. System block. Oh, it probably gives more defense than the basic thing. You are. <laughs> you are going to download this onto your laptop the second we're done with the stream, aren't you? Oh, probably. I need more guns. Here we go. Uh, you can change your ship size, too, based on the level progression, okay, says Patrick. So and yeah, you can see your sh ship size down there in the bottom right corner. It says frigate right now. Um... But yes, I am enjoying this a lot. And what's cool is, like, I know some people would be unhappy that there's only ten stages or whatever, but to me it's not about the numbers, it's about how fun they are to do. And, like, if you make the grinding fun, then it's not even grinding, or at least it doesn't feel like grinding, and so far that's the way this one is to me like it doing the same stages repeatedly is fun just because changing your ship loadout makes it feel more fun. Slap some more holes down. Uh, oh, uh Ryu says have a smaller ship focus all the damage into a line to strike through an enemy's defenses rather than having just having all the cannons. So what he's saying is a vertical line of cannons. So yes, one I shot tears as much through. Just like down here? Yes. Or wherever. Engine. That's interesting that you're centralizing your engine. Well, when'd you get a power core mark two? Um, oh I bought a few. Uh that reminds me I was pull these out and just uh slap down those. I I think you're going a little a little overkill there, the Akamara. There's no such uh, Okay. Alright, let's uh Kalo says, can you make the cannon spell F U at least? You are so into this. It's wonderful. Oh, you need to buy uh, another nose. Ah, uh, say yes. Yes. <laughs> like, I, I know we don't do face cam, and we intentionally don't do face cam because uh, we don't want to take too much away from the game, but 
if we had face cam, you would see the Akamura's uh, thinking face right now. <laughs> oh man, uh, Patrick says the final stage is an endless mode where you encounter other players' designs. Neat. That's awesome. That sounds like a good grinding spot too. Oh my god, really? Alright. Really? Let's overclock this bitch! Wow. Come here. Do you have enough? Cross your fingers. Oh, uh, you won't have enough power. Oh, so I need more. Need more power. You could add um just a tiny hole to the back center. I would say. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> oh my CPU's god. Still good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thing. This really seems unnecessary. This is the Ryu ship. Put some more wings on it to stabilize. Oh my god. Stabilize? I don't think that thing can ever stabilize. Don't wow. be mean. Wow. You're just gonna fire one shot and my computer is going to explode. Oh yeah. I'm gonna love it. Uh, save it again just in case. Grim is very <laughs> happy with what you have done here. Okay. Here we go. Oh, yeah, you've unlocked a new mission. Hush, go away. <laughs> you don't even care. Like, whatever, I need to go shoot some shit. Point me at what you want shot, and I will shoot it. Let's see what this baby does. Uh, I'm scared. You better uh, say your last goodbyes to Beefy. <laughs> right, he says I'd put the guns in vertical lines, but yeah, this is totally what I would make. Um... <laughs> Oh, man. Let's see. Kaylin says... Oh, oh yeah. Go. Oh, my God. How does it feel to fly? It looks like it's really slow. Uh, a little slow, but doable. Ooh. Yeah, hopefully you get some guns to fire in angle soon, because... Whoa. Let's just set off another one of those guys. Oh, yeah, you have four, right? Oh, yep. oh those are you. devastating. Yeah. I think eventually you can get those lasers. Like, I, That'll be nice. Um, Patrick, do the, do the basic enemies here use parts that you can get? Or do they have, like, unique configurations? Or I should say unique parts. Because if you can get all the parts that you see on display, that's also really good design to kind of tease the player of, hey, you can make <laughs> this eventually. Yeah, he said you can. You can get all the parts this that you see. This is just devastating. It I am is. the end boss. <laughs> <laughs> so loud. All right, I'll turn down the speed. I'll turn down the game audio when we're done with this level. I was having trouble getting the uh, the volume balance right when we yeah, started. The game so game can't keep up with how many volleys I'm shooting out. You are so happy. <laughs> I love seeing you this happy. One shot in the freaking tank down. Yep. He just laughed. He was like, nope. He noped out. Oh, man. This is a lot of fun. Like you oh, said, yeah. it's it's the perfect game for, you know, woo, woo. faffing about. This is probably not a game you play for 12 hours at a time like we do with Final Ooh, Fantasy 14. Ooh, you took out half but... of me. Now I'm having a little trouble. Oh, yeah, that oh, would slow your maneuverability a lot, too. Just never stop firing. Never stop firing. <laughs> did you see that shit? I did. You are so happy. Whoa. Purple. That was, oh, purple restores you. Sweet. You're back to your full fighting strength. Okay, this is less a less the freaking Nautilus and more a goddamn dreadnought. 
You know you can hold down the fire button, you don't have to tap it. <laughs> Whoa. Hi, guy. Holy crap. Yeah, he's oh. Got, he's got a lot of lasers on him, so I'm going to set that off. There, there you go. go. Nice shooting. Wow, you are just making mincemeat out of all these enemies. Thanks for playing, bitch. And we got an achievement. A plus plus. A plus plus? Holy crap. And I'm the I'm the one who says I'm a professional gamer. Nice. All right, hold on. Before you... <laughs> Just made Let me take my mouse back for I a second. I made a goddamn munchkin ship is what I did. So I can turn down the audio just a wee bit. Okay. Um, we've got about five minutes left on the stream from what I wanted to do since we have plans. So run another mission and... Oops. Oh, yeah. Oopsie. Um, Oopsie but yeah, whoopsie. run another mission. Have some fun. Um, if anyone has any questions for Cubic, please let him know. Let's let's um, see how far we can take that baby. Okay. Keep it going. Uh, and obviously, right uh, Cubic, uh, Patrick, you are more than welcome to stay for the after party, which is where uh, when, when we do these shows, we do weekly after parties, which is usually where we just hang out with the fans and chat about whatever. This week, I need to do it a little bit more focused, but we can still chat about hey literally guys, whatever. Hey, guys, how's about we take the Nautilus and we remind these guys why you don't put your goddamn power control supply on a fucking ship? All right. Uh, oh, uh, Patrick says the flicker is meant to indicate in um, invulnerability, and he wishes it was a little bit better graphically. Let's see. Max says the Akamara is a whole different person with firepower. I dread to imagine what she'd be like if she played a VR game related to weapons. <laughs> <laughs> you guys should watch me play Far Cry and like really get yeah. into it. Uh we're we're gonna get Far Cry five when it comes out, so we'll we'll do a little bit of that for the show now and then. <clears throat> like uh when Pyro was playing Ghost Recon Wildlands, he opened the gun customization menu and I about had a religious epiphany. Yes. You need to you need to get a hold of uh look of at me, bitch. Ghost uh -oh. Recon. Lasers. Trash those enemies. Man, I really like <laughs> the game. Like, uh, one reason Patrick's here is for feedback for the game, and I just Ooh. like it. I can't Look at even, all those guns go everywhere. I can't think of too many things I don't like about it other than, you know, the technical snafus we're having now and then, but... Yep. Like, I, I like the game, I like the system, the building system, but... Uh-oh, like, lasers. I just like the way it is. It's perfect boosh, for what boosh, it is. Boosh, 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 boosh. Woo! Yeah, woo. I live! Because, <laughs> like, ew, <laughs> a bio goo block? Make your ship nothing but gooey. Um, <laughs> I still have a bullet hell block on. Yeah, like... Come to fuck at me! Come to fuck at me! I always respect games that don't try to do too much, and Vulture clearly is not trying to do too much. Like, it knows exactly what it is and does that thing very well. It's not trying to have a Mass Effect story. It's not trying to be... Ooh, rammed it. Open world nonsensically. It doesn't have awful voice acting unnecessarily. Like, there's just. It does what it needs to do. It's a good game. I very much enjoy it. Nice. Oh, I do not like those lasers. They oh, are scary. I do not like those lasers. You are eager to get those lasers, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. I would love those lasers if I had them. Just gotta keep grinding away. Yep. Uh, I would love to see the Akamura in Gun Gale online. If you ever get the vibe, make sure the Akamura plays hot dogs, horseshoes, and hand grenades. That <laughs> sounds like an incredible game. How do you like being a day ahead of, of schedule with soccer or gamer? That's a little annoying, because that means I'm a day behind now, really. 
It's a day ahead for releasing, but it's a day behind for me uh, getting more episodes recorded, but it is what it is. We've made that mistake before, too. What's up with this fucking shield wall? We are just destroying... Piss off with this shit! This beautiful snowfield. I don't give a fuck about the snowfield. But what if there are igloos down there, or the husky dogs, Well, or... they should have thought about that. They should have thought about getting in my fucking way. Uh, okay. <laughs> Why doesn't anybody think about getting in my fucking way? <laughs> Bitch-ass fucking gun shit that I'm up against. He's trying so hard. Look I mean, at me, I'm getting torn to shit and I'm still killing him. Fire off another one while I still have a life. <laughs> oh man, we need to get some shield pieces for you. That's and why it's taking fine. you so long to lives. tear through that guy. Oh, there we go, we finally went. Just gonna angle ourselves for a bit, slowly take out his guns. There doesn't seem to be any slowdown either, no matter how many things are on the screen. Yep. Which is nice. Wow, you have just destroyed him. To the left, to the left, to the left, to the left, to the right, to the right. A Another plus. A plus plus. Yay! Wow, the Akamura. I like this game. <laughs> Oh my god. Alright, so we will continue to play this on our own, but for now we will have to leave the main stream just because uh, I have business to attend to. Um, uh, can you rename it to The Reckoner? With a W? Yes. Reckoner. Uh, like that? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so I'm sure the Agamera will get her fix in as well. Uh, if you are watching this from the archive, don't forget that uh, there is a link to the game in the video description. We did pick it up for free from the dev, but I'm having a lot of fun with it. I think it's definitely worth 10 bucks. Oh yeah, I still have two hole spots to fill. <laughs> what is that? Really, you have four if you want to get super technical about it. radar. This is a... A radar? Oh yeah, you get to see enemies from further away. You got yourself a laser finally? Okay, I'm going to have to try to tear her away from the game. Uh, but so we can get to the after party, <laughs> and I'm we'll. Have beam <laughs> yes. KJ Six friend says either the game is too easy or the Akamura is too good for it. Cannon. Probably the latter. She's very good at laser and gun play. Uh, you should see uh, her in Borderlands. She's really good. Thank you. All right. While she loses her mind, I'll do the. Uh, yeah. Yes, you can make a bigger ship, Ryu. We're do we're currently doing the smallest ship. I think. Can you manually change that? Not Good. enough CPU. Go to ship size real quick. Uh, to the right side under your ship name. Can you click that? <laughs> okay, the Akamura just got serious faced again, so I am better wrap this up before she... Okay, she is going to completely redo, redo this. So... If you're watching this from the archive, check out the game. Uh, there is a link in the video description. It will take you to the Steam page, and you can buy Vulture for 10 bucks. It's very cool. I'm going to leave a review once I have a chance. Oh, Biochitin. That looks pretty. <laughs> um, if you're watching... Uh, Ryu wants to see the maximum size limit. Ch oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I have my work cut out for me. <laughs> Let's get back to destroyer size, though. Wow. Anyway. Little baby steps. Um. So here's what I was going to say. Uh, and yes, I think KJ Friend already knows where I'm going with this. Uh, for the after party, we can... um, We can... You can unlock more sizes. Like, more than heavy battle cruiser. Ah, no. I don't want to sell anything. You can't have my shit. Fuck you. Sorry. Um... So, I need to play Sims 4 for work. Like, if it wasn't for work, I wouldn't mind playing Vulture for another hour. But I need to play Sims 4 for work. So, if you guys don't mind watching Sims 4, we can play some Sims 4. I just have to play my family. I have to play it for the guide. It has to be my way. We can't do trials and simulations. But we can keep playing, and we can keep chatting with Patrick and talking about either Vulture or whatever. Alternately, I can just stop the stream entirely and play Sims 4 on my own if no one's interested. But I have to play Sims 4 for work. 
So I will leave it to you guys if you want us to do the after party or if you just want to call the stream now and be done. But I have to do Sims 4, unfortunately. Mm. Or fortunately. I mean, let's be honest. Me writing strategy guides is like one of the best jobs in the world. But, you know, it's still a job, so I have to do it. Kind of thing. How many theme cannons do I have? You're the best, Patrick. I appreciate that. Oh my god, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> okay, see, those are the kind of Akamura laughs that make me very, very scared. Uh, will you be able to tear yourself? <laughs> oh, what? Okay. Oh, fuck you. I'll deal with that in a second. <laughs> All right, let's let her get one more of these stages out of her system and then we'll switch to Sims 4 okay. because I don't want to take it out of her hands when she's discovered the magic of slapping 20 laser cannons on her ship. This is ridiculous. Can you... Oh, you're bit just more, short. More. Actually, wait, you can take... I think you can take one of your CPUs out and put it... Okay. You do. Uh, this one <laughs> doesn't have to look pretty. <laughs> you're, just, you're just stapling pieces onto the ship. Uh -huh. <laughs> Here we go. So I need to. Right, you said that laugh was music to his ears. We'll try to isolate that. That was lovely. I'm gonna try to isolate that from the archive. There we go. All right, I need more wings. <laughs> oh my god. Here we go. Patrick, you should uh, give all of your team a nice, uh, nice round of high fives to get the Akamura to laugh like that because I'm scared to be in the same room with her right now. You don't even care about the story. You're just like, let me get to shoot something. Uh, let's do the base one. Sure oh, you're going to do the first one? All right. Then we have to switch to Sims 4. I have to finish it for work. <laughs> You are going to download this immediately, aren't you? Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, actually, you could play it because since uh, Sims 4 is on Origin, you can download it. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I almost feel sad. Where is your god now? I actually kind of feel sorry for the boss of this stage. I'm a goddamn Undertale final boss up in this bitch. Fuck you! Oh, he took out my lasers. Everyone is both scared and turned on by your laugh right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to add this to the end of the archive. <laughs> it's like getting free shit! <laughs> Patrick, what have you done to us? You have unleashed the Akamura's fury! I think I need therapy. <laughs> Oh my god! Ryu quotes, there is no need to wonder where your god is because he's right here and he's all out of mercy. <laughs> <laughs> hey look, new shit. <laughs> oh, oh they've reactivated! You are so happy right uh, now. Uh, okay, I've run out of shit, so it's not fun. There we go. I was say, yeah! now you're Oh my god. I live! I die! I live again! I don't think I've ever seen you this jazzed up for a game beyond Far Cry 3 and 4 when you first got your hands on them. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, yeah, we'll definitely put this at the end of the archive. Oh, fuck all your goddamn weak ass tanks. Oh. Come on. Come on. My face Where are you hurts hiding? from laughing so Where hard. are you hiding? I'll find all of you. Poor boss doesn't know what he's in for. Not even the sound is scary. The whoosh. <laughs> is the laser on a different button? Uh, no. It uh, just, just takes activates. a second. Uh, oh, I see. It's a recharge time down there. Come on, where are you? Oh man, those are all different types of guns too: plasma, rocket, laser, orb, and flak. I think I put the shields in the wrong spot. Oh no! You killed me. Wow. That just looks like celebratory fireworks. That doesn't look like... Oh, yeah, let's like... get multiple ones going. Okay, I really need to play The Sims, though. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have that's to tear okay, you away from okay. the game. Ah, oh, those men had families. Do you need a cigarette after that? <laughs> <laughs> I've just destroyed the population of a small country that was press-ganged into service for this war.